Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, in the meshless name of Yahosh. This is Yahweh's servant, Reginald M. Graham, and we're delighted to be able to come to you once again with another message from the word of Yahweh. This has come out of her, my people, broadcast with your host, Reginald M. Graham. I'm just a voice crying in this end time wilderness, preparing the way of Yahweh, making straight paths for our Messiah, Yahoshua Mashiach. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to warn you, this broadcast is not for the faint of heart. This broadcast is not like many broadcasts today, ladies and gentlemen. And we are devoted and dedicated to declaring the truth. If you're a truth seeker, if you love truth, you tune in to the right broadcast. Um, we don't beat around the bushes. Um, we let the chips fall where they may. And we don't apologize for declaring the truth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right into <clears throat> our message on this day. Ladies and gentlemen, the Christian church is responsible for the rise of dysfunctional homes because men and women are not being taught their proper roles. The majority of pastors today have a distorted view of scripture and they cannot effectively teach young men and women their proper roles as husbands and wives. Well, Isaiah 9 and 16, listen what it says. It says, um, my people, ladies and gentlemen, are destroyed because of the leadership. Now listen, it says, um, my people are destroyed because of bad leadership. It's the leaders of this people that calls them the heir, and they that are led of them are destroyed. It's the leaders of this people that calls them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Did you hear that? The leaders, the spiritual leaders, ladies and gentlemen, are responsible for causing Yahweh's people to err. Then we have women ruling the church and leadership positions that are prohibited for women. The family is a reflection of the spiritual chaos in the church. Isaiah 3 and 12 declares, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. It says children are your oppressors and women rule over you. And the women that rule over you, the scripture says, they cause you to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Whenever you have women pastors, there will be a spirit of Jezebel in that congregation. How can a woman pastor or preach, preacher teach you the will and purpose of Yahweh? How can a woman pastor or preacher teach you the will and purpose of Yahweh? If she preaches that is a manifestation that she have a distorted view of the Bible. Paul said in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11, he said, let the women keep silence in the church, for it's not permitted for them to speak in the church. He said in verse 12, I suffer not a woman to teach nor usurp authority over the man but to be in silence, ladies and gentlemen. The blind lead the blind, Yahushua said, and they both shall fall in the ditch. How many women pastors or preachers have you seen with a wholesome, healthy marriage and family? Very few, if any at all. Spiritual chaos breeds 
spiritual chaos. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that, ladies and gentlemen, as we go on. Spiritual chaos breeds spiritual chaos. If a woman pastor has a husband, nine out of ten times, he is a weakling who have been spiritually castrated or punked out. His wife rules him and he's henpacked. The children are out of control and dysfunctional. Most of the time, their children are homosexuals, extremely immoral, or wicked. Women pastors or preachers are out of Yahweh's divine order and authority. And when she steps in the place of the spiritual head or authority, it affects the whole body of the church and family. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3 declares, But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is Elohim. This is the picture of Yahweh's divine order and authority. Anytime we break ranks and get from under Yahweh's divine order and authority, there will be chaos, confusion, dysfunctionality, and unstableness. As long as the man is under the headship of the Messiah and the woman is under the headship of man, then there will be order in the family. When a man permits the woman, ladies and gentlemen, to be the spiritual head or then, ladies and gentlemen, then he opens the door for trouble. Let me say that again. When a man permits the woman, ladies and gentlemen, to be the spiritual head, then he opens the door for trouble. No longer does that home has a protective covering. Yahweh's divine order is so crucial and so important. Amen. Your children depend on you. Ladies and gentlemen, being in Yahweh's divine order and authority. Your children depends on you, ladies and gentlemen. Because when we're not in Yahweh's divine order and under his divine authority, ladies and gentlemen, we have no protective covering for our children. No longer does that home has a protective covering. When the man is subject to a woman pastor, he is no longer in Yahweh's divine order and will, ladies and gentlemen, open the door for satanic attacks towards their children. Open the door for demonic attacks, ladies and gentlemen. He is no longer in Yahweh's divine order, ladies and gentlemen. And now his children are vulnerable to demonic attacks, to all kinds of demonic attacks. Sometimes women have to step up and fill the spiritual void in the home because their husbands are not regenerated, they're not saved, they don't know Yahweh, their husbands have neglected their spiritual responsibilities and obligations, or they are single parents. Sometimes women have to step up and fill the void. But the woman must not leave her designated place of authority. She cannot step up in the role of a pastor. Sometimes the woman has to fill the spiritual void 
in that home. She has to step up and feel that spiritual void because her husband may not be saved, may not be regenerated. He may be neglecting his responsibility as the priest of that home, or she may be a single parent. But that woman must not leave her designated place of authority, ladies and gentlemen. She cannot step in the role of a pastor. Men and women need to be taught their proper roles. And they need to have a proper understanding of their roles. Because when men and women leave their divine place, then it opens up the floodgate of hell, demons are unleashed on that home. The children are vulnerable to dem demonic attacks because Yahweh's protective covering has been removed. So our children, our innocent babies, our innocent children depend on the Man and the woman, the husband and the wife, ladies and gentlemen, to be under Yahweh's divine order. When we leave Yahweh's divine order, ladies and gentlemen, when we break reins, it causes chaos in the home. It causes demonic attacks on that home, that marriage, and those vulnerable children. So it is very important. Listen, it's very important for us to be under Yahweh's divine order and authority. We read in the book of Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3, but I would have you to know that the head of every man is Mashiach. And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is Elohim. This is the picture of Yahweh's divine order and authority. Anytime we break ranks and get from under Yahweh's divine order, there will be chaos, confusion, dysfunctionality, and unstableness in that home, ladies and gentlemen. See, when a man gets under from under his divine order, which Yahushua Mashiach is his head, when he leaves that place of authority over his over him, ladies and gentlemen, then it causes chaos in that home. It affects and impacts that home because he's no longer under Yahweh's protective covering. And then when the woman leave her place of authority and don't allow and permit the man to be her head, it brings, ladies and gentlemen, also demonic attacks on that home. It brings chaos, confusion, unstableness, dysfunctionality to that home. So it is very important that we remain under Yahweh's divine order. When we leave it, we have no protective covering. I mean, it's open hunting season. Satan can do whatever he wants to do. Ladies and gentlemen, Satan can come in like a flood. He can, ladies and gentlemen. The, 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 uh, the, the gates of hell have been unleashed on that home because, ladies and gentlemen, we have got from under Yahweh's divine order. So it's very crucial, very important that the man, a man, submit under Yahushua Mashiach and that the woman submit under the man. Now we know Yahoshua is submitted to his father. You know, the Bible says that the head of Mashiach, Yahoshua Mashiach, the Messiah, is Elohim. So we don't have to worry about that. 
What we have to concern ourselves about is our place of authority. Are we submitting to Yahweh's divine order, ladies and gentlemen? Are we abiding in our calling? Have we left our estate or our habitation, ladies and gentlemen? When we do, we have no protective covering for our children. Our children are under demonic attacks. Our marriage is under demonic attacks. When you see your children acting oddly, having nightmares, ladies and gentlemen, uh, unnatural things are taking place uh, in, in your children's lives, ladies and gentlemen, you have to check yourself and see if I'm under Yahweh's divine order. Now, let me share this with you. If you have a man, a husband, that neglect his responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can feel that void. You can step up and feel that void. And you can keep, amen, Satan and demons from attacking your children. You can. If the, even if your husband don't step up to the plate, even if he uh, don't fulfill his responsibilities and obligation as the priest of that home, listen, listen, you can remain in your place. You can remain in your place and you can uh, put up a protective covering ladies and gentlemen, to shield your children, to protect your children. Because the husband is not in his place, ladies and gentlemen, because he's neglecting his responsibility, because he may not be uh, regenerated, or you may be single, ladies and gentlemen, you can still have a protective barrier over your life and your children's life, ladies and gentlemen. But what happens is when the man leaves his place, we leave our place, ladies and gentlemen. We get from under the authority that Yahweh have placed in our life. Even if a man, he's under Yahweh's authority, okay? He's in Yahweh's divine order or authority. And his wife is neglecting her responsibilities. He can still, ladies and gentlemen, cause a protective covering to be over those children, to keep them from Satan's onslaught, from a demonic attacks. So if you have a husband that's not doing his proper role, he's not fulfilling his proper role. Like you can feel the void and still uh, protect your children from being destroyed by the enemy. Even if a male pastor allow women associates and condone women preachers, he opens up his children to the onslaught of Satan. Listen, even if a man, he's a pastor, but he condone women preacher, he have women associates, he allow women to preach in his church, he opens up his children to the onslaught of Satan. Why do you think most pastors have the worst and the most out of control children in the congregation? Why? Because they are out of Yahweh's divine order. They have left their place of authority, ladies and gentlemen. We have to remain in Yahweh's divine order. You see, most of the time, the pastor's wife or the or pastor's children are the most hellish children in the church. The, the most wicked, huh? I mean the most immoral, 
influencing the other children to do bad things is because he may be a pastor, but he condone women preachers. He allow women to speak in his church, preach in his church. He have women associates and assistants, ladies and gentlemen, and he's still opening the door for satanic attacks, mm -hmm. demonic attacks. This is why so much chaos in Christian homes today. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is why there are so many divorces in, uh, in the Christian church today, ladies and gentlemen, because they are not in Yahweh's divine order. They have left Yahweh's divine order. They have broken ranks. And ladies and gentlemen, it is important because it brings chaos. When we live in chaos, it brings chaos in our families. It brings chaos in our families. Matthew chapter 12, verse 29, Yahushua declare, or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man and then he spoil his house? Ladies and gentlemen, Satan have bound many pastors today and have spoiled their congregations and homes. It is so important for men and women to abide in their divine callings because their children and marriages depend on them to do such. Many children and marriages will be destroyed, ladies and gentlemen, because we are not in Yahweh's divine order. Men and women have stepped out of their divine callings. 1 Corinthians 7 and 20 declares, Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. You have to abide in your calling. It's important for us to abide in our callings. Children's lives depend on their parents submitting to Yahweh's divine order and authority. Your innocent children. They're harmed, ladies and gentlemen. They're harmed because of the parent. We're hurting our innocent, loving children because our lives is in disarray and chaos. And we have not submitted ourselves to Yahweh's divine order and authority for our lives. The head of the woman is the man. The head of the man is Yahushua Mashiach. And the head of Mashiach is Elohim. This is Yahweh's divine order and authority for our lives. And when we break those ranks, ladies and gentlemen, and get out of his divine order, it breathes chaos. As I said previous, a spiritual chaos breathes chaos spiritual chaos, ladies and gentlemen. Our families are a reflection of our, ladies and gentlemen, submission to Yahweh or our um, rebellion to Yahweh. So you can look at many people homes, you can look at their children and you can tell where the parents are. Just look at the children, ladies and gentlemen. If they out of control, uh, if they immoral, if they're disobedient, they disrespectful, all you got to do is look at the children. I mean, at the parents. All you got to do is look at the parents. Look at the parents. Look at the parents, ladies and gentlemen. When you see children out of control, it comes from the head. The apple don't fall far from the tree, friend. The apple does not fall far from the tree. So if you want to know a lot about the parents, just observe the children. Children will tell on you every time. Children will tell, ladies and gentlemen, children will tell you the state and condition of the parents. Mm -hmm. Many times they will. Children's lives depend on their parents submitting to Yahweh's divine order and authority. Look at the children today bringing guns to school 
and shooting teachers and their classmates. Look at the high rise of gang activity. Children are being incarcerated for murder and other crimes. Children are engaging in sex at a younger age. Young girls are being impregnated at a younger age. Drugs and alcohol use is increasing among the youth. More children are turning gay. They are turning to prostitution. In many of our cities, children are shooting one another down in the streets. Children are murdering one another. Parents are burying their children at a younger age. You know, children are supposed to bury their parents. But today, parents, I mean, it's, it's backwards, ladies and gentlemen. Parents now are burying their children. Amen. It should be the other way around. But because of this chaos... Because the parents have left Yahweh's divine order for their lives. Yahweh has a divine order. We must abide in Yahweh's divine order. If, if we don't, it's going to affect. It's going to impact our, our whole family. It's going to impact our marriages. It's going to impact our children. That's why. You, you know what? Many of our children will not be the way they are if we abide in our callings. If we submit it to Yahweh's divine order. Ladies and gentlemen, in many cases, it's not the children, it's the parents, it's demonic attacks. We have opened, amen, the door for demonic attacks. Bible says, submit yourself to Elohim, resist the devil, he'll flee. Ladies and gentlemen, scripture tell us, don't give place to the devil. We've given place to the enemy. We've given place to the enemy. Because parents have got away from Yahweh's divine order and authority and children are open up to demonic attacks. It's open hunting season. It's open season, hunting season on our children today. A open season. Boy, the devil just coming in and doing what he want to do to our children. It's open season, open hunting season. 24-7 hunting season, ladies and gentlemen. Because of the parents neglecting their responsibilities and obligations. We must abide in our callings. We must remain under Yahweh's divine order if we're going to have a protective covering. If we're going to have a protective covering on our home, our children. Our children need protection. We need Yahweh's divine protection. Our marriages need Yahweh's divine protection. And we can prevent demonic attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, well, we can't prevent demonic attacks because the devil's going to fight, but we can prevent our children, amen, being vulnerable and falling, ladies and gentlemen, victims to demonic attacks. Our children don't have to be victims to demonic attacks. We, our marriages don't have to be a victim to demonic attacks. We can always have demonic attacks. But they don't have to prevail against us. They don't have to prevail. Because Yahweh will give us a protective covering for the devil will not be able to come in like a flood. Ladies and gentlemen, when the when the uh, the devil comes in like a flood, Yahweh will lift up a standard against him. When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh will lift up a standard, a banner against him. Ladies and gentlemen, if we remain in Yahweh's divine order and authority, because parents have got away from Yahweh's divine order and authority, Children are open up to demonic attacks. It's open hunting season on our children today and our marriages. Remember, when we break ranks and don't submit ourselves to Yahweh's divine order and authority, our innocent children have no protective covering to prevent from all kinds of demonic attacks, nightmares. Children can't sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, children acting abnormal, unnatural, things happening with our children. Hmm? Children masturbating. Glory to Yahweh. 
children doing things that are unnatural because those are demonic attacks. Demonic attacks. Our children are under demonic attack. Our children turning gay, getting involved in all types of wicked sins, ladies and gentlemen. Also, our marriages are open and vulnerable to demonic attacks. The divorce rate among Christians is off the charts. It's outrageous, ladies and gentlemen. But churches, churches are responsible, supposed to be teaching people these things. But you got women parading in pool pits. Oh my goodness. You got henpecked men, ladies and gentlemen. You got men out of Yahweh's divine will and order for their lives. Women, they not abiding in their, their calling that Yahweh designated for them. And you see why it's all this chaos. We have to align ourselves back to the word of Yahweh. If we align ourselves back to the word of Yahweh, we will see order come back to our homes, our marriages, and our children's lives. Oh yes, we will see order come back. But until then, we will never see order. We will never see order. Ladies and gentlemen, when somebody may ask, what if I have a husband that, that don't serve Yahweh, don't love Yahweh? You can fill the void. You can step up and protect your children from demonic attacks. You can from satanic attacks. You can if you abide in your calling. You keep praying, leading your children, being an example to your children, even if your husband is not in that place, even if he's not in that place. If you're a single woman, you can fill the void and you can be the spiritual leader in that home, ladies and gentlemen, and you can keep uh, Satan from destroying, eradicating, amen, annihilating your children. Yahweh will put up, he will keep up a protective covering. But when we get out of Yahweh's divine order, then that protective covering is removed. And Satan can have a field day, open hunting season. He can do whatever ever he want, ladies and gentlemen. He can do whatever he want. But he, if we abide in our callings and do what uh, the word of Yahweh says, ladies and gentlemen, and submit ourselves under Yahweh's authority, then we can protect ourselves from Satan's onslaught. Today, Satan has free range to do whatever he wants on most marriages and our children. We must align ourselves to the word of Yahweh. The enemy is coming in like a flood. But the Bible tells us no weapon formed against us shall prosper. If we submit ourselves to Yahweh, resist the devil, scriptures say he'll flee. If we remain in Yahweh's divine order, if the woman remain, amen, in her place, under the husband, the husband under Yahushua Mashiach, ladies and gentlemen, we can keep Satan from prevailing against our homes. Yahushua said in Matthew 16 and 18, upon this rock I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Listen, Satan is always going to attack us. He's coming in like a flood, but he won't be able to prevail against us. We're going to be attacked, but he will not be able to prevail against us. A second Corinthians 2 and 11, least Satan get an advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. For the weapon of our, our warfare, not carnal, but mighty through Elohim, to the pulling down of strongholds. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, do you know this is one of the most powerful weapons we have at our disposal? Remaining in Yahweh's divine order. If you stay in Yahweh's divine order, you're talking about a weapon. Satan cannot hurt you when you under Yahweh's divine order. When you remain in Yahweh's divine order. Ladies and gentlemen, let me read it to you again, Yahweh's divine order. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. 
But I would have you to know that the head of every man is Mashiach. Look at it. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Mashiach is Elohim. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a picture of Yahweh's divine order and authority. This is it. But how many people are under Yahweh's divine order? How many people have submitted themselves to Yahweh's divine order and authority? How many people? But we don't realize the effect on our marriage. We don't even realize the effect on our children when we get from under Yahweh's divine order and authority for our lives. We don't even know. We have no protected barrier for Satan to come in and destroy. The divorce rate among Christians is outrageous. It, it, more Christians getting divorced than uh, unchurched folks. Folks don't even go to church. More than atheists and agnostics, ladies and gentlemen. Why? We're, we're, we're playing with Yahweh's divine order. Yahweh's holding us responsible. And, and these pastors not teaching you. They're causing chaos. They're breeding chaos and confusion and dysfunctionality and unstableness in many of your homes today because they're not teaching you this. And you're wondering, what, what's wrong with your home? Some of y'all wonder, what's wrong with your children? What's wrong with my home? Why is these things happening in my home? Check yourself. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Read it. And see if you're lined up with that. See if you're aligned with the word of Yahweh. These pastors are teaching our people wrong. But Yahweh gave us hope and he gave us a promise. Ladies and gentlemen. And Jeremiah 3 and 15. Yahweh said he'll give us pastors according to his heart that will feed us with knowledge and with understanding. Many pastors don't have the mind of Mashiach. They don't have the mind of Elohim. They distort in the word of Yahweh. I, it's amazing. I was looking here, listening to a pastor the other day, and he was telling how he give his wife two hundred and fifty thousand a year, her money. That's her money. And and you look at the woman. He was talking all this foolishness, and she up there with mini skirts on. Pastor's wife, she wearing mini skirts, ladies and gentlemen, with mini skirts. I mean, it, hawk the tops and everything else. You see his mind. It's twisted. He's twisted. How can he feed you? How can If he don't have that right, how can he feed you? How can he give you the truth of Yahweh's word? Ladies and gentlemen, these pastors' minds are distorted. They twist it. They twist it, ladies and gentlemen. He can't, he can't see in the word that his wife don't supposed to be walking around showing her thighs all the way down, ladies and gentlemen. Revealing her body parts, wearing provocative, enticing clothes. She got makeup on, jewelry, and everything. It looked like just like the like some whore in in Las Vegas, Nevada, on the Las Vegas, Nevada strip, like some showgirl in Las Vegas, Nevada. She looked like some showgirl, and and, and he's talking about he give his wife two hundred and fifty thousand a year, and that's her money. He don't touch her money. Blah 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 blah. Now he's messed up. Now you know he messed up. Ladies and gentlemen, his wife walking around looking like a Jezebel. How can these people teach us? The, ch the church world is in a bad shape. These clowns we got in the poop pits today. They, they, they don't know their head from their butt. They, they don't know their head from their butt, but they lead in the people. They lead in the people, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Satan has free range to do whatever he wants on most marriages and our children. We must align ourselves with the word of Yahweh. The enemy is coming in like a flood. But when we do Yahweh's will, he will lift up a standard against him. The enemy's going to fight, but he won't prevail. He won't prevail against your children. Because you have a protective covering when you abide in your calling and remain in Yahweh's divine order. That's the truth. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 12, ladies and gentlemen, in verses 11 through 12, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, Satan, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their life unto the death. How did they overcome him? By the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, the word of Yahweh, the word of Yahweh. 
because they've submitted themselves to the word of Yahweh. You can't fight the devil. You can't, you, you, you no match for the devil if you won't submit to Yahweh's word. Submit yourself to Elohim, resist the devil and flee. You fighting the devil, you ain't even submitted to Yahweh's word. You saying you want to pray for somebody, you ain't even submitted to the word of Yahweh. You want to help somebody, amen, spiritually, amen. You're not even submitted to the word of Yahweh. You're wasting your time. The Bible say, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, for he knows he has but a short time. But you know what Yahweh said in Luke 10 and 19, behold, I give you power to tread on scorpions and on serpents and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you if we align ourselves with the word of Yahweh. Huh? If we align ourselves with the word of Yahweh, just like 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, huh? and seek my faith, turn from their wicked way. Then I hear from heaven, heal their land, and forgive their sin. If they turn from their wicked ways. Huh? If they turn from their wicked ways. How can we defeat the enemy if we haven't turned from our wicked ways? Anytime you don't submit to the word of Yahweh, you have not turned from your wicked ways. One manifestation, a person have turned from their wicked ways. One indication is that they submitted to the word of Yahweh. The devil knows you have, you're no match for him if you ain't submitted to, his, to Yahweh's word. The devil beat you up. Amen. He'll pick you up, ladies and gentlemen, like a rag doll. And do whatever he want to do to you when you're not submitted to the word of Yahweh. That's why the Bible says, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor. If you don't have the whole armor, if you're not submitted to the word of Yahweh, you're, you don't have the whole armor of Yahweh on. And that's why no weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon. When we submitted to Yahweh and his word. You can't quote that script. You hear a lot of these Christians going around. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh lift up a stand against him. But they don't obey his word. They don't hearken unto his voice. They don't keep Yahweh's commandments. It's just a bunch of hot air, ladies and gentlemen. They're just making a bunch of noise. And Satan know it. They ain't no match for the devil. Satan just sitting back laughing at these people. Laughing at these people. You know, our only defense is the word of Yahweh. Our only protection is the word of Yahweh. Hmm? Above all, take what? The shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. What he said, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of Yahweh. And take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Elohim. Ladies and gentlemen, we no match for the devil. When we don't submit and hearken unto his word. You have a lot of people today, they're hearers of Yahweh's word, but not doers. Yahweh wants us to be hearers and doers. It's not the hearer of the law that shall be just, but the doers shall be justified. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a bunch of people, amen, that read it, but they don't do what the word says. Well, I see my time has got away from me. We thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us once again. Amen with another message from the word of Yahweh. Yahweh has a divine order. And our children are being attacked because we're not abiding in his divine order. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a protective covering from Satan's onslaught, from demonic attacks. Amen. If we're not abiding in Yahweh's divine will, we're going to be attacked. But we don't have to be a, a victim. We don't have to be a victim to the attacks. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us once again. If you will, we want uh, our friends to subscribe, like, and share. We we'll really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, may Yahweh continue to bless you and smile on you is our prayers. Shalom.